Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Football Manager 2018 Loser to Legend series with Zebu Nation. And we are back again. The bully we, Clyde FC, getting ready for our first game in the Ladbrokes League 2. League 2? Anyway, uh, yeah, it's going to be our first game ever in our regular league. Now, our preseason competitions didn't go too well. We got knocked out of the Betford Cup. We got knocked out of the Iron Brew Cup. And things, I don't know, we didn't play very well. We scored exactly one goal in all competitions, and that's that's uh, substandard, subpar. And then I looked at our League 2 here, and board expectation has finished top half. I don't know about that. I, I'm a little concerned about this top half finish, the way that our preseason cup went, our cup competitions went. But then I started doing a little bit of research on the other teams in the league, like Edinburgh City, semi-professional. We know that Cowdenbeath is semi-professional. Anon, semi-professional. In fact, every team in the league except for us are semi-professional. So we should be able to, at the very least, finish top half. I mean, we ought to be able to beat out five semi-professional teams. And I think we should make the playoffs. Maybe even win the entire league with that kind of attitude. Like, I got more confidence now that I know that we're the professional club. Our players have professional contracts. They're training seven days a week. Six days a week, we give them a day off after their matches. But we should play better than these other teams. We just got to get our dudes healthy. We got to bring in the right players and get everybody, you know, firing on the same cylinders, working, you know, towards the same goal. So I think we can do that going forward. And, um, you know, I got a little bit more, a little bit more confidence this uh, this time around than uh, than I had just a couple of minutes ago, honestly. All right, so let's uh, let's run down the checklist real quick and see what's up. All right, under 20s, not a lot of change going on here. We got Jack Breslin and a bunch of trialists down there right now. We are allowed to have trialists in the league. We can have up to two on our roster at any time, and those two players can play up to three games each. So that's good. Uh, we got finances. Look at that. Making a profit, $38,000 in the bank on our way up. The trend is looking good. That's what we're all about. Yeah, good stuff. All right, money. Uh, obviously, we have no transfer budget. Payroll, we're still under budget. Good scouting budget. Still okay. We spent some money, but kind of spent a lot of money so far. Uh, but uh, hopefully, we can keep that under control somewhat. Board, we're still stable with the board, 49%. We'd like to, you know, grow that and uh, get over the 50% mark. Uh, let's see, club-wise, obviously, we're still the same here. Transfers, look at this. We got a new coach coming in, Lewis Christie. This guy should help us out on the attack. He's also got, you know, he's got good skills all around, which is what we need from coaches. Another highly adaptable guy, another guy who can work with youngsters. You know, he's pretty decent at judging player potential, too. So he's kind of an all-around coach. He can help us out in every area, and that's what we need. We need help in every area. Uh, other than that, transfer history, no transfers, surprisingly. We just have those two strikers that we bought in earlier. We're still, you know, bringing guys on trial, waiting for our other guys to get healthy and, and see what we need from there. Scouting wise, we actually have some players in our database. Look at that. A whole five players. So we're slowly building our database. And I'm going to do sort of the realistic rules where I'm not going to do player searches. I'm going to let our scouts go out and find guys and tell me who's out there rather than me saying, hey, go look at this guy in South Wales or whatever. I'm going to let the scouts do their job and find players for me. There we go. Competitions. We looked at this schedule. We've got our very first game versus Berwick. Take a quick look at Berwick. Founded in 1881. Semi-professional semi team. 
players, not scouted them particularly at all. So, you know, we'll we'll see what they're like once we get uh once we get to game time. Medical center, ugh, this is not looking good. You know, we got uh we got several several dudes on this list that I would prefer were not on this list. But our injury susceptibility right now is pretty low, pretty pretty decent that we can we can risk playing some of these guys in our first match. Training wise, uh you know, Coaches, we're gonna need we're gonna need training. A lot of our players right now are unhappy with the state of training, so I'm trying to tweak these and and give us more training and and things like that. We've gone up to uh, average. I might even go up to high intensity level. We're working on a team cohesion right now because things are not looking great in the dynamic section. Abysmal match cohesion. We're still just flopping around out there locker room atmosphere is average though we're you know slowly improving it would help i think if our form was halfway decent <laughs> i think that might help leadership support is still poor that's to be expected hierarchy looks pretty much the same good willie at the top even though he's not a team leader he's just an influential player we still have no team leadership so that's no good look at this we got four players who support us now several of the young players duffy breslin Wilson Stewart, 21 years old. So, you know, we get a lot of uh, respect from the fullbacks, apparently. Yeah, all the fullbacks are liking us, so that's good. Um, and then we got two players who oppose us. Of course, our best players, Goodwillie and Gormley. They're, these guys have been injured, haven't had much contact with them. They've been just, you know, doing their rehab and, I don't know, tweeting nasty things about me, I guess. But, uh, you know, we'll we'll bring them around. It's no problem. Uh, I'm a locker room guy. There's, I got no problems with locker room stuff. Here's the social groups. Kind of split fairly evenly between the core group and group A, which are players who have been at the club roughly the same time and are of similar ages. So these are the youngsters. Yeah, these are the young guys, 24 and under, it looks like. Yep. We got social group B. Could he is in social group B along with Duffy and Ramsey. So, you know, these are the guys who support me, so I got to make sure that these guys get some playing time and stuff like that. And then we got our others. This is an interesting group of others, including our goalie, Curry. We need this guy to be influential because he's going to play a lot of games for us. The problem with Curry is leadership too. I mean, this guy, he must be like some kind of introvert. He's got one flair, two leadership. So this guy just... He just sits in goal. He does his thing. He doesn't need to talk to anybody. He doesn't need friends. It's just him and the ball and the goal and nothing else matters to Blair Curry. But, you know, we'll bring him out of his shell maybe and, uh, you know, get him some friends. Happiness-wise, we're okay. Pretty much up and down the board, okay. People are having problems with training. we got to figure out our training. We had the little problem earlier in the season where we we moved our assistant coach up the ladder into a uh, developmental position and that left us without a coach for a while so people got upset but now we're bringing in coaches and hopefully this will this will uh, you know play itself out in a positive manner Cudahy, extremely good so he's happy and delighted to be a team captain and all that getting lots of playing time that's good team meeting no need for that all right so we've got our tactics we've got a trialist in Gary Glenn, 27 years old, so he's a little bit older, but he seems to be pretty good. If we can bring this guy, if he's half the player he seems to be, we can play him on the right wing and then team him with Goodwillie and uh, who's the other dude who's injured? Gormley. When those guys get back, that should be a pretty decent trio up top, so I think we'll be okay there with uh, McNally coming off the bench, so we should be happy with that. All right, so let's submit that team. Let's get to our game. First ever League 2 game for us anyway. And here is the lineup. Of course, Curry in goal. Stewart and Bradley at the fullbacks. Bradley making his debut. Uh, McNiff and Monroe at central defense. McNiff is still our highest rated player. His rating has dropped, though, to 695. Look at this. Nickel, our team captain, is back. The 31-year-old. Finally, this is his first game 
finally healthy. That's good. Our team is finally coming back. That allows us to to move Cudahy up to central midfield. He's going to be playing with Flynn right now because uh, our other guys are real tired. And then up top, we've got uh, Osadalar, Mr. Smart. I'm just going to have to call him Smart. I don't know. I just don't like the way his name rolls off the tongue. Osadalar, Os Osadolar. I don't, I don't know the, the cadence for... Was he Nigerian? I don't know the cadence for the, how Nigerians say their names. So we're going to have to figure that out. Maybe, probably never. There's Glenn, our trialist, and then McNally up at the top. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Team talk. Um, I forgot if this, if this was a home game or not. Give the fans something to cheer about. No, no. I think... I think tactically... Um, Counterattack worked so well if we just had had a better guy at the end of those runs. Uh, we'll go a little wide. Yeah, okay. So we're going to go counterattack and see how that works in this first match. This does not look like our home stadium. There's a lot of yellow. This team is yellow. Look at There's no fans in the stands. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Let's go. We've got our classic uniforms, the old white, black, and red. I like the red socks. Here they are trying to go over the top to Morell. He's hounded pretty good. Stewart clears it out to the hot dog truck. Look out. Oh, somebody threw it back on the pitch. I like that. They need some people walking around back here. I mean, that would probably, like, bog down their engine to no good. There's Thompson with a shot off the post. Free kick. For Berwick, let's go. Glenn heads it out of there. Maybe counterattack isn't what we should be doing. Wah gets it forward to Godinho. Is he a Brazilian? Uh-oh, more in the middle of the fence. Fleming. Oh. Come on, people. Offsides or something? Offsides? No, no. Mr. Flagman says it's okay. So this is just sort of a secondary attack. Godinho sends it into Moore. Nice little back pass to Fleming and then, you know, stoppable shot, I guess, but not real stoppable. He would have had to make a good save to stop that. All right, so now, I mean, counterattack is pretty much out the window now. Standard. All right, here we go. McNally sends it in. Nobody's there. Nickel with the backstop. That's what we need him to be. We need him to be our backstop this year. Out wide to Flynn. The trialist sends it all the way back to Nickel. Forward to Cudahy. Oh, he gets a nice shot off. I liked that play. Those two, hopefully they can work well together. The youngster and the veteran. Oh, Morogue almost got his, get his, got his head on it. Let's learn to speak English. Not okay. All right. We're down a goal. This is how a lot of our games have gone in the preseason. We get down a goal, and then we can't score. But maybe we can score now. Here's Godinho again sending it into Morell. Thompson, the goal scorer, chips it wide. That's good. Keep doing that. Okay, time is ticking, and they get another throw in. Far side, Godinho to Moore. Back to Godinho in the box to Thompson. Takes a shot wide again. Our defense, I don't know, we're just not marking people. Let's try marking tightly. 20 minutes down in the first half. We've had no highlights. Yeah, maybe one highlight. We had a shot by Cadinho, but that's it. Six to two sh in shots. They've got two on target and one goal. We've got five fouls. That's no good. They've got 59% possession. 
24 minutes down, McDonald gets a yellow card for Berwick. All right, here's a long throw in by Flynn. That was pretty impressive. Smart gets it, gets it forward. Cudahy, another shot. He's, uh, he's reacting well to being moved up to the midfield. I believe he's our ball-winning midfielder now because he was, he was playing ball-winning midfielder as a defensive mid. Now that he's center mid, he can, he can continue to do that same role. 26 minutes and counting. They're racking up the yellow cards. That's good. Our ratings, um, not great. 6.5s. Flynn is looking uninterested. That's no good. Curry with a goal kick. Blasts it downfield. He's got a heck of a leg. This guy could be an NFL punter. How, uh, how far he gets the ball downfield. Oh, what a tackle. McNally, a wide open goal. What an aggressive play. Wow, look at him just strutting. He doesn't need to do cartwheels. He just, oh, turns around, stares at the goalkeeper, and shoots an arrow into the sky. This kid's got some flair. Oh, look at that tackle, and then, oh, it's just, the goalkeeper was beat, and he knew it. I mean, this kid, he's maybe nobody signed him. Maybe he just walked in off the street and said, hey, coach, put me in. You know, I, I kind of, I like that narrative. Like, nobody signed him. He just gave himself a contract, put himself in the starting lineup. That's the kind of confidence this young man has. And I think he's going to be our starting striker going forward. Even when the other guys get back, we're going to try to put them at, at the wings, I guess. Oh, there's Morrow almost completes our corner play. But now here's... Berwick on the counterattack. Moore down the near sideline. The defense is there, though. Nice tackle. Wins them another throw in. But we stop the immediate danger. 40 minutes down, going into half tide. That's pretty good. We'll take that over our recent form. We got a goal with the spectacular play by uh, young McNally. 43 minutes. You know, maybe we could go... Well, now let's not go back to counterattack. That obviously didn't work. They're getting all kind of yellow cards on us. Uh, I don't think we can go into control because we're, you know, we still have no match cohesion, no team cohesion. So I think just standard, just play it out. All right, here's another free kick for Berwick. McNiff heads it out. Meldrum sends it forward for Berwick to Thompson, who has it. Irving at the semicircle. Back to Thompson. Come on, boys. Stop that. Stop him. Nice. Nice. Got to hold that line. Got to hold that line and, and give Curry clean looks to make the save. He should be able to make saves on most of the shots coming from these guys. All right. So there we go. Halftime. 1-1. One, one. We'll take it. Um... Tell Matt Flynn to ease off tackles. He's been booked. Okay. Godinho is an accomplished crosser of the ball. Yeah, let's close down on that guy. Is he a Brazilian? He's got to be. No, he's Canadian. Hmm. Hmm. Portuguese. Aha. There we go. Now we know. I guess I, you know, I'm still in like America mode where, you know. You get a lot of guys from South America here. I guess it'd be more likely for him to come from Portugal. Um, what happened? Dressing room? Yes, dressing room. All right, we forgot to go to the dressing room. Here we go. Team talk. Um, we're not doing badly. If everyone continues to work hard, we'll win. Okay, nobody really cares that much about it. Tactics. Do we want to make any tactical changes? Standard, expressive, tighter marking. I think this is okay. No need to go attacking. That's, uh, you know, a little too much. Maybe we can tell McNally to go nuts, but everybody else stays back. Here's Glenn getting his first shot here as a trialist. That's no good. Sends the ball downfield. It's hard to bring these trialists in and get a good picture of them. 
well they play because they're not match fit. But, you know, we can at least look at his stats and see if he's actually as good as we think he is. And that's really the big reason to bring him in and play him. Just It's just like another form of scouting, basically. We've got ten fouls now, five shots on target. That's Five of our six shots have been on target. That's pretty good. Here's the goalkeeper. Is that McCory? Was that his name? Monroe gets the steal. Blasts it down to McNally. He's open again. Ooh, he kind of ch chips it over the net. That was a bit of a scuff shot there. He's got a yellow card. He is aggressive. Here's Finney. Sends it forward to Fleming for Berwick. And they just blast it over the net. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine, fine. All right, more. All right, they're starting to get a lot of free kicks. Not happy about that. Monroe again heads it out. He's playing well on that back line. Cadinho with a yellow card centers it to Thompson. Back to Fleming. Let's put a little pressure on these guys. Okay, Stewart, nice play. Nobody's nobody's there to, to pick up those loose balls, though, to grab the rebounds. Moore sends it back to... Uh-oh, 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 offside. Yeah, get out of here, get out of here. That looked bad. Our, our defense just kept getting wider and wider and split farther and farther apart. Until it was that there was that gigantic hole in the middle. So do we have our wingers on attack, or is that guy just doing what he's doing? Um, Smart is on attack, but he's on the left side. So Glenn should have been up there to uh, to pick up some of that trash, but he was not. So that's you know, I don't know, either match fitness or there's something about his game that's like get forward or something like that avoid the ball at all costs maybe is a trait i don't know 6.3 rating not looking good flynn has a yellow card and is also complacent so i think we'll sub him out at the 60 minute mark we'll bring in miller the greatest corner man in all of scotland He's a ball-winning midfielder. That's not really what we need. We don't need two of them in there. We could send Cudahy forward, though. He's been doing well going forward, so we'll send him. Uh, you know, we'll send him on support. Let's not get crazy. Uh, Miller, yeah, 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 yeah. Is there anybody else we need to sub out? Um... Stewart, maybe. I don't know about Wilson here. 21 year old. He's all right. How is he compared to Stewart? Stewart's got much better offensive ability. Stewart's much better, all around. Let's not let's not mince words here. Stewart is much better. That's why he's starting. He's not playing well. He's got a yellow card. So we're gonna bring in Lewis. <laughs> Or we could bring, we could move McNiff outside. No, let's not do that. All right, Wilson, what can you play? You're much better defensive fullback, so we'll let you be defensive, and that's fine. Try to hold on to our lead a little bit. Get our yellow cards out of there, other than McNally. So should I call him Mac McNally or McAnally? I think McNally just kind of rolls off the tongue a little better. Um, but he does have a capital I in there. McNally. I don't know. We're going to call him McNally. For now. All right. Got our subs in the match. 66 minutes down. Looks like Berwick might be settling for a draw. And we're trying to do our part. We're, you know, flexible. We're... You know, standard, we're not playing the defense, we're not parking the bus, or, you know, not attacking either, but uh, this team right now is not really set up for the attack, we don't have our best players in there, we're right now a one-man attack, and that's pretty much it, here's Wilson into Smart, let's see what he can do, he drops it back to Nickel, heads it aside to Miller, Miller just about loses possession, gets it to Cudahy, who's surrounded, 
Back to Miller. Let's make a play. Drops it all the way back to Bradley. Bradley boots it forward for Smart. Heads it on to McNally. Oh, he almost got that shot off. Ball ricocheted around, and we're going to get a corner out of it. All right, here we go. We got our corner man in the match. See what we can do with it. Miller. Here it is. Sends it on. Oh, Thompson is waiting for it, but it looks like Miller's going to collect it. Drops it back to Glenn, who takes... Uh, that, I think that was a cross meant for Smart, and Smart didn't go for it. <sighs> These things happen. These guys are still learning how to play together. But that was, you know, that was a good set of highlights. I like that. Got the other team looking nervous now. Here's a free click kick for Berwick. Fleming boots it on to Morell. What a run from Morell with a cross. <sighs> Wow, Curry with the save, the game-saving stop right there. That was incredible. Here we are now, throw in Wilson on the near side in Berwick territory. Smart has it. Double covered, he loses possession to Donaldson. Donaldson with a risky pass back to the goalkeeper, who just boots it down field. Wilson heads it on to nobody. Berwick retains possession for momentarily, and then they just send it downfield where Monroe collects it. All right, boys, let's restart the offense. Let's make some smart plays. There we go. Get it down the wing to Glenn, forward to McNally. This is looking good. Get the offense rolling. Smart rifles it forward. Oh, I was waiting for the defense to make a mistake. Now they're rifling it forward. Morell on the run. He gets past one defender. Can't get past Curry, though. They're trying some long ball techniques now. Don't like that. Here's Berwick again. McNally is not going after that ball. He is staying at his poacher position. Come hell or high water. Here's Morell again with a shot. Curry with the save. Okay. Let's... Let's try booting the ball. See what's up. See if we can uh, we can go tit for tat with these boys. Here's Glenn to Cudahy to McNiff. McNiff nearly gets the ball stolen. Gets it stolen finally by Morell. Berwick on the counterattack. Got to watch Morell streaking down the middle of the field. Here's Moore down the sideline. Crosses it. Nope. Curry is there again. Should play this guy at sweeper keeper. He seems to be all over the field. 84 minutes down. He blasts it forward. McNally wins the header back to Cudahy. Down to Smart. Smart forward to McNally. He is offside. Uh, nice play. Nice try. Nice attempt. All right. So we're going to be blasting it down the field from now on. Here's Berwick. Gets it forward to Morell. Nice tackle by Nickel. Defensive midfielder doing his job. Curry sends it forward. McNally headed on to Nickel. Settles it down for Cudahy. Forward to Smart. Cudahy ah, gets the ball intercepted by Erring. And here's Berwick on the counterattack. This is just going to be a back and forth match, apparently. Lowry sends it in to Morell. He stays on side. Shot to Moore. Oof. McNiff just has to chip it out of bounds for it. Oh, my gosh. It's so tense here. Corner kick. Nickel. Good man. Heads it out. But Moore gets it back into Thompson. The cross. <sighs> Offsides. Offside. Oh, thank you. I thought that was a penalty. 86 minutes down. Clock is ticking slowly, so the computer's thinking about something. We've got a, one sub left. We could save it or use it. we got a lot of tired boys. Cudahy, for sure, is tired. Um, you know, we got some yellow cards. We don't really have anybody capable of coming in for substitutions at the moment. Um, 
Yeah, we got a severe lack of depth in the midfield currently, so we're going to have to figure that out. But, yeah, we'll just have to stay with what we got. Let these guys play till they drop. So there's one midfielder we brought in on trial who wasn't quite good enough. But if we don't find anybody else, we got our scouts looking around. If we don't find anybody else out there, then, uh, you know, we, we might bring that trialist back in just for depth, just for situations like this. All right, here's a throw in near side. Cudahy tries to get it into the box. No good. Miller chases it down to Glenn. Back to Miller. Glenn Miller. Eagles, maybe? I don't know. Nickel to Cudahy. Cudahy forward to Smart. Cudahy is on running on fumes out there. Doesn't quite know where he's going. Morrow up to Glenn. Glenn on the outside. The trialist loses the ball. Three minutes of stoppage time. Here's Berwick on the counterattack. Lavery tries to send it forward to Morell. Oh, another tremendous stop. And there's a foul by Morell. Get out of here. That's not a penalty on us. That's a penalty on them. Morell gets a talking to. Gets a yellow card. There we go. Get out of here. That was a cynical, cynical foul. All right. Frustration foul is what we call it. Donaldson to Moore. Berwick on the attack. Nickel, though, sends it forward to McNally. He's got Smart running down the left wing. He does not see him. He instead passes it to the back of his own teammate. There's Morrow. Sends it forward for Glenn. Glenn can't outrace the defense. Ooh, the ball sort of trickles to the goalkeeper. 15 seconds left in the match. We're looking at a 1-1 draw here. Moore down the near sideline for Berwick. Sends it forward. Nobody there but McNiff. And this should be the final whistle. Just blast it downfield. Cut he. They're going to let him get one last shot. Mc... No. That's it. That's it. We got one last long pass, but we couldn't do anything about it. So we got the draw. I mean, I guess that's okay, but it's better than a loss. It's our first first non-loss of the year, so that's good. Um, completely, Players appeared completely disinterested. All right. Um, unlucky boys, it wasn't our day. All right. That's fine. Let's take a look at the analysis here. Match stats, how'd we do? Curry really kept us in it. No question about that. Our defense is a little leaky. Our midfield is very, very thin. We got, I mean, I think we got some good starters there, but we just don't have enough depth. Not enough, uh, not enough fitness either. That would help us out a lot. Uh, our advanced players made almost no... No impact. Our wingers, in particular, obviously McNally with that amazing single effort goal, but our wingers were of no help. So we gotta we gotta work on that. Luckily, we'll be getting our two star players back, and they both play on the wings, so that'll be good. All right, get out of here. Leave the match. So I think what we'll do is we'll sort of show the beginning and the end of each competition. So we'll show you the first game here of League Two, and then we'll come back for the end of League Two. And in the middle, we'll have our other competition, the Scottish Cup. We'll show you the first game of the Scottish Cup and the last game of the Scottish Cup. Or if we make it, you know, deep in the Scottish Cup, we'll show you one of those games. So that's going to be it for now. Um, Schedule-wise, I don't see the cup on the schedule but i believe it's in it starts in august so it should start fairly soon where did those competitions go no it starts in october so we got we got a ways until the cup so that's probably going to be the next game we show you will be whatever the first game of the scottish cup is and then we'll have a big you know season update show you where we're at and all that kind of stuff so I'm thinking this is going to be my weekend save. So you're probably seeing this on the weekend, hopefully, if all things go well. So until next weekend, I guess, uh, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.